Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be playing with whipped cream primer. And I actually wasn't gonna film this today and I was rifling through everything and I saw that I had this and I was like, what on the earth is a whipped cream primer? I hopped online and I went to winkylux.com and they actually put like, an ice cream cone next to the whipped cream primer itself. I don't know, it looked really appetizing. The texture of it looked very similar to my beloved Tarte Pore Filling Primer, but it looked more whipped. And I think this is gonna be good. I was reading the reviews. God, I need to stop doing that. Oh my gosh, like I said in my Crayola video <laughs> that I was gonna stop doing that, but I was like scrolling through and so many people loved this that I was like, dude, I'm gonna film other videos today, but I kind of just wanna like sit down and dig into this and put it on my face. So hopefully from what I gather, this is like the best pore filling, smoothing, you know, make your makeup look like magic type of a primer. And it's super cute, you guys. So this is the box that it comes in. And I just have to say Winky Lux does such a great job with packaging. Their price point on products is not out of this world either. So I really appreciate that. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my God, that was the worst false alarm. That is the worst feeling. The birds are singing, the sun is shining, and my allergies are kicked up. Okay. <laughs> So this whipped cream primer is $19 and isn't that just like, isn't this so cute? Oh my gosh, right? Whipped cream primer. I cannot wait to see what this is about. <gasps> Dream jelly, I don't have that. Winky Lux has cool stuff. I've purchased this myself. I ordered it offline a while back and kind of forgot that I had it, but I really want to explore more of the line. I have talked about their diamond powder I really love. They have a coffee scented eyeshadow palette that I really love that I'll probably end up using today day just to kind of, you know, keep with the theme. And then I also have this right here. This is not a part of the video, but I'm like, hey, let's like maybe see if this works too. This is the Winky Lux Tinted Veil. I don't know that this is gonna give me the kind of coverage that I want for today. So I might step on top of this <laughs> with a little Laura Mercier if the coverage is not there. But this one is cruelty-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, as is this guy right here. All right, and the neighbor's dog is just having a moment. If you hear a German Shepherd barking, that's Roxy. Okay, silky skin primer blurs pores and prolongs makeup wear. Apply in circular motion with fingertips. Wear alone or under foundation. For a flawless, 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 <laughs> for a flawless look and baby feel every day. I want my skin to feel like babies. Like, yes, yeah, sign me up for that. I will put whipped cream on my face if I look like I have baby skin. So let's just open her up right here. Ooh, ah, wow, behold. I need a napkin. I never used to have allergies until like three years ago. I used to like actually make fun of Larissa, <laughs> uh, who was just a guest on my channel because she has like the worst allergies and I would be like, what's wrong with you? Like, why, why are you like that? And now all of a sudden in my life, it's like, because I teased too much as a child, like I got slapped with the whole allergy thing. But yeah, in California right now, the weather is like hot, cold, hot, cold, and then like windy and it's just, it's doing things. So don't mind me. Dang, that dog is like going nuts next door. Okay, so I'm just like going right in here. It does feel really nice. Doesn't smell like anything. I'm gonna take about this much, yay much. Maybe that's too much. I'm just gonna kind of, oh wait, I wanted to do a close up on this. Gosh dang it, Tati. Where were we before I almost primed before being more close up? Okay, so I'm gonna take just a little bit out of the lid. I feel like I have enough on my forehead. It goes on really nice. Like it just smooths right out. Whereas the Tarte primer, you really wanna press, press, press. This just kind of goes on really smooth and it's not pilling up from what I can see. Dude, I like this. It feels like really puffy dimethicone and it just like smooths really quickly on the skin. Let's see if it claims anything. I don't think it did. It literally was just like mm, whipped cream primer. <laughs> I really wanna try that jelly one now. I don't even know what that is, dream jelly? Uh, I actually just think all their stuff is super cute. Okay, it says moussey formula that feels light as a cloud. 
but does it hydrate? Like you're not telling me enough. I wanna know if it like does anything, like prevents oil, hydrates. It doesn't really say much other than made in the US, gluten-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, feels like a cloud. Yeah, I don't know, but the reviews are super good. Like really, really good. And it does feel really, really nice. Very similar to Tarte, but again, more puffy and kind of just blends in really quickly instead of having to press it in. All right, let's just take a stroll on over here into this guy that I also wanted to play with. I have the shade medium and that is that right there. Does that have coverage? Ooh, oh. I'm really good with scents, you guys. And in high school, I used to wear something called, I think it was Biblos Perfume and it smelled just like this. I haven't smelled that scent in so long. It's really light, very floral. This is not overpowering at all, but there definitely is fragrance in there. So if you're not down for fragrance in your products, then you might not be into that. But let's just see if this does anything more than just like a veil. I mean, it literally is a tinted moisturizer, so I don't think it will, but I was looking for something really to like quickly put on on my no makeup makeup days that would just give me just a little extra something and some hydration. So that's why I was intrigued by this. Gosh, this smells amazing. Amazing. No G. Amazing. Amazing. Hmm. I kind of really like that. This is like making my skin look so nice, but it doesn't really look like I'm wearing makeup. Shoot. Winky Luxe, you've done it again. I'm so down with their products. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm half tempted just to keep it like this, but I know that I'm gonna be using other makeup today that is a little more extreme and I want it to have balance. So I'm not doing a natural look today. So I am gonna pop on a little bit of Laura Mercier. I'm gonna try and keep it light, but I just still, I, I want a little more coverage but this is really nice. Like it feels so nice and the primer has really blurred. So I'm into it. I'm into it. Actually, I'm gonna take a little Fiona Styles today. I've been back into this, you guys. Matte foundation, really, really good. Not super heavy. This is what I wore on my wedding day where it kind of really covers, but it doesn't make you look like you're wearing a crap ton of foundation, you know? The foundation has a hydrated look to it, which this foundation normally doesn't with that, you know, tinted veil underneath. And I'm liking it. I really like how it feels. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel greasy or oily. And right now, like that's the first test for me is how quickly things blend and how it feels on the skin. It looks really nice. It looks like it has sunk into my skin and it's not sitting on top of it, which is also a huge win for me. So at the moment, I am loving this. I'm gonna finish up my face and I will be right back. And the rest of my makeup is on. And I have to say, you guys, I actually stepped away and I went and had lunch and it has already been a couple of hours of wear time and my makeup is locked in tight. I love this. I love how everything is sitting on the skin. It's not breaking apart. This might be like a new favorite primer. This is the kind of primer that I personally love where it really fills everything in and it just feels so nice on the skin. So I'm curious to see how everything else wears for the rest of the day. I will be sure to do a bunch of check-ins and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, so here we are again. We have time traveled and you are actually seeing a very different background from the beginning of the video to now. I really realized that I wanted to put this product to the test more deeply and not just do check-ins throughout the day of like, hey, my primer is pretty good, I think. You can't see crap, but you know, I think it's working. I just, I felt like I needed to try this with several different foundations and really see if there was a big difference because the first day that I put this on, I was so impressed that I was like, oh my gosh, new holy grail. I think this is the best. I think this might replace my Tarte uh, pore filling primer. It is less expensive. It is easier to press into the skin and it just makes my skin look so, so good. So it was almost one of those too good to be true moments when I first tested this that I wanted to test it a bunch more. And the you know final result is in, you guys. This is awesome. It has not made me break out easy to apply, blurs the crap out of your skin, helps your makeup to not break apart. And I am so in love with this. I thought it was kind of one of those products that was like, oh, it's marketing and whipped cream primer and why would that work? But the puffy texture of it 
just really melts into the skin so beautifully and then you still get that pressed in pore filled type of a thing and no irritation, no breakout. You are velvety smooth. What more can I say other than I'm blown away by this product. Winky Lux is a brand that I have so fallen in love with and I'm happy that I started trying out their products. None of this is sponsored and I ordered this myself. I'm just really, really excited about it. So, oh my gosh, primer dreams come true, you guys. And it's not going to be $100, so yay for that. All right, that is your wrap up on this whipped cream primer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss any of my future videos. This whole look will be revealed to you very soon. I did a full face using palettes from YouTubers that I love here on the platform that have their own brand. So I'm literally wearing like a mix up of Laura Lee Los Angeles, Lunar Beauty, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, Love Melissa Michelle's collab with Ulta. Gosh, I just tried it all. So if you wanna see a comparison of palettes and this look, then stay tuned for that. That will be <laughs> soon, cause I just filmed that. Anyway, it's hot outside, I'm melting, I need to go. Stay subscribed, turn your notifications on, hit all, and uh, remember that I'm here Monday through Friday every day at 10 a.m. PST, and I hope to see you again. Love you guys so much, have a good one, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.